welcome back to my channel and today i am back with a story time you guys and this story time is about the time i got caught sneaking out my parents house Whew. so um i was currently dating this boy i'm not going to say his name but i was dating this boy hold on let me make a name um i think i'm gonna call him um david I was going with this boy named David, and me and him was going together, well, we was on and off for, like, a long time. And, like, I would still be messing with him, doing stupid things and everything over him. And David, he will be doing things for me, but he wouldn't be doing as much as I used to do for him. So, it was one night, I was thinking about sneaking out my mom's house. This was the first time I ever was thinking about sneaking out my parents' house. And I was texting him, and I was like come see me and he was like right now and it was probably like one two o'clock in the morning and i was like yeah come see me um i'm bored and i had school in the morning and everything and i'm telling david to come see me so after he was like all right i'm about to come see you so he pulled up we was texting for a nice little while before he had pulled up so when he pulled up i got scared so I'm like, oh my gosh, what am I going to do? I'm like, all right, let me get this. So I went out my room and I see my dad in the living room. I'm like, why are you not in the bed? <laughs> I'm like, why are you not in the bed? He like, oh, I'm about to go get in the bed right now. So like soon as he went got in the bed, I mean, it wasn't five minutes later. I didn't open my window and had left. And... The whole time, I'm like, I hope I don't get caught. I hope I don't get caught. So, we trying to race to his house. And let alone, David not even driving. He have his little partner driving. So, his little partner is trying to drive even faster because they had snuck me out of my house. And I wasn't supposed to be gone. And he had a football game that morning and everything. I'm like, oh my gosh. Like, I hope we don't get caught. So, his little partner speeding and had hit the corner and man the police got behind us that was the biggest mistake that could have ever happened to me the police got behind us i'm like oh my gosh so we didn't think they was about to pull us over until we got like close close to his house there and put on the lights i'm like oh my gosh we're gonna do like i'm not even supposed to be in this car like I don't have no driver's license. I don't got my ID on me. Like, oh my gosh. Like, I don't know if these boys, like, I know the boy I was going with at the time, David, he ain't have no warrants on him, but I ain't know if his little partner had no warrants on him or we go, what was going on, who caught it was in. I ain't know if the car was stolen or not. I just got in the car, me being stupid and trying to be hot and young and dumb. <laughs> oh my gosh. So we got pulled over. So the police get out the car, they ace and who the car for. So. David LaPana was like, it was for his mama. So he, the police was like, do the mama know y'all got her call? He was like, no. So they was like, well, we need you to call your mama because she need to come get her call because now one of y'all have a license to drive this car. So they was talking to them too. So then they was like, who is the young lady in the back of the car? I'm like, oh my gosh, they about to come and get me out this car. Oh my gosh, I'm not even supposed to be at my mama's house right now. Like, so much going on through me. Like, I'm so nervous. Like, I'm about to just get ready to tell them the whole truth. Like, I snuck at my parents' house. I'm not supposed to be here right now. I'm ready to go home. Like, please just take me home. But when I got the car, I lied. I lied. I told the people I had a permit to drive and everything. So they had let us go. I had drove to his mom house i'm like oh my gosh we were so scared we were so scared we really didn't even get the chance to in it in with each other or nothing like that because we were so scared like i was probably at his mom house for a good 15 20 minutes at the most he had got his stuff for his football game and everything and we had left and by the time i made it back to my house when I left, the lights was off. When I got back, the lights was on. And I could already know I was in trouble. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm in trouble. He was like, how you know you were in trouble? I'm like, because when you came and got me, all the lights in the house was off. All the lights on. So obviously they looking for me. So me still trying to be sneaky. Then went and tried to sneak back through the window that I ain't went out. <laughs> 
Oh my gosh, y'all. When I tell y'all, it was in that moment I knew I had messed up. My daddy bust through my door. That shit go right there. That shit go right there. She trying to sneak back through the window. She trying to sneak back through the window. Come meet me at the front door right now. I'm like, oh my gosh. So this whole time, David and them sitting across the street, I'm telling him to pull off. Like, go ahead. I don't want you to be nowhere around when this stuff happens. Because my mom and them was furious. They were so burnt up at me. They were so mad. So... When I went to the front door, they was like, where you was at? Where you was at? I'm like, lied again. Oh, I went on a walk. They're like, you went on a walk this late at night? You went on a walk? You lying, you lying. I'm like, yes, I did. Yes, I did. I ain't go nowhere but on a the walk. They're like, let me see what you got on. Let me see what you got on. And at the time, you guys, I went had a jacket, a bra, pants, and some drawers, and some slippers on. Like, I wasn't even fully dressed. They was like, that's how I know. That's how I know. You went by some boy house. You snuck out of there, but go by some boy house. You snuck out my house and go by some boy house. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm caught. So I'm like, yeah. Like, it wasn't supposed to happen like that, but it did. And she was like, I don't care how I was supposed to happen. You was never supposed to sneak out my house. She was just gone off. I'm like, oh my gosh. Like, I'm like, I'm about to go. I'm about to go. Like, I started walking off. That's when they grabbed me, like, slinging me back in our house. Like, basically, like, beating me up. Like, Telling me, like, I'm not grown. You not going to be leaving my house at this time of night. Like, they wasn't having it at all. And, like, my parents back in the day, they were strict. Like, nowadays, they not like how they was back in the day. They didn't let up a little bit, but they was strict back in the day. And that's when my mom and them found out I was having sex and everything because I had to tell the truth. I had lied so much, my lies was catching up to me. So I'm like... Oh my gosh, what I'm going, I can't, I can't keep trying to think of all these lies because now I'm getting caught up in my lies. So I'm like, dang, I might as well just tell them the truth. So she's like, you having sex? You having sex and don't lie to me. I'm like, yeah. She's like, I'm going to put you on birth control and you going to get out of my house. If you grown enough to open up your legs, you grown enough to get out of my house. I knew you was having sex. I just wanted to ask. I knew you was having sex. She was just going off. Like, she knew I would be having sex and everything like she just had a feeling, and you guys, like I told you, like, I always did keep things to myself. Like, when things used to happen to me, I always did keep them to myself. I never did was the person or never was the person to go and tell nobody my business. So, when it was time for me to start having sex, I felt as though that was my business and nobody did not need to know. But nowadays, now that I'm older and now that I look at it, like, that was... That's not how it's supposed to go. You're supposed to tell your parents when you're having sex because, like, what if I would have been a pregnant by David? Like, all them things could have happened, and I was young. So that's why I felt where my mom was coming from now that I'm older and now that I look at things and see the dumb and make mistakes that I ain't made behind dudes. And, yes, I'm not going to sit here and say I wasn't dumb because every girl has to be dumb for a boy one time in their life. Everybody has that one time, and I'm not going to say I was dumb one time. I was dumb multiple times, and I just went for one dude, multiple dudes. And to this day, I have told myself I'm not dating anyone until I feel as though I'm ready to settle down because, as I told y'all, I'm ready to have children and everything. And when my mama found out I was having sex, she won't put me on birth control right away, like, Click, click, boom. She had put me on birth control when she found out I was having sex. Like, it was crazy. Veda. Y'all, my cat, she's in here. <laughs> she just want to say hey. <laughs> Veda, you come and mess with me? <laughs> but, like I was saying, you guys, so after my mama found out I was having sex, she won't put me on birth control like crazy. And... It wasn't for me to be like, okay, I could just be going to have sex like this. Boom, boom, boom. No, it was not. It was just my mama trying to protect me from getting pregnant. And after I got and after I got caught sneaking out of my mom's house, I never did it again after that. Um, I was too scared to even think about sneaking out of my mom's house. Um, that time, 
I had got my room taken away from me. I had that shit at room with my sister. Like, my mom and them was so strict. Like, they was not playing. She wanted me to sleep in the room right directly next to her so she could know every move I was making and what time I was getting up in the morning to go use the bathroom, to go even get some water, anything. She wanted me to hear me toast in my sleep. That's how bad it was that I had snuck out my parents. I was like, she was not playing. Like, oh my gosh, like, just just talking about this stuff is funny now, but back then, like, it wasn't funny. Like, what I did, it was wrong. And I look at it now because my little sister, she had snuck out the house. And, you know, I look at it as I did it before. So, you know, I am an influence on them. So, I have to realize what I be doing before I do it and make wise choices for my sister and them. And that's why I wanted to express this story for my story time because, you guys... That's just one of the little crazy stories I have. Um, I have multiple crazy stories about me and just me in general. I'm I'm a crazy and open person, but not open to everyone. I'm only open to certain people. And them certain people is the people that I'm really, really close and that I really, really love. And when I tell you love, I mean I love. And when I mean love, I love hard. So I must really love them to open up to them and let them know everything that's going on with me so that's it for this video you guys don't never sneak out your parents house don't never do it like be open be open to your parents and once you open to your parents they they, they give you some leeway they trust you enough to you know be able to do certain things so don't never sneak out your parents house you guys never do it okay never ever Thank you for watching my video. Subscribe to my channel. Like this video and leave me a comment down below on any else story times or anything that you're interested in me dropping down on my channel. Because, you guys, I'm not going to say I'm going to be uploading every day, but I'm working on it, you guys. I'm on the grind, and I mean the grind. I'm on the money bag and the hustle. You heard me, you guys? So, it's time to get to this bag. Subscribe, like, and comment down below. You know.